Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where the uh, boys are getting ready for the second game of uh, tonight's action. Uh, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, uh, South had an, uh, pardon me, North had an easy win last time, 82-61. What do you see happening here tonight? Well, let's just hope South still looking for that quality win. They're four and 12, North 14 and three. Last game, 82-61. I know they're getting ready for the national anthem here, but I, South's gonna have to uh, do something to uh, handle the 1-3-1 one, one for sure. Here's the uh, conference standings as we see it. Here's the Pier. Pier is currently 11-0. Uh, oh. They're ranked fourth in the state. Their only loss was to number one ranked Germantown. Bayport who beat North. Pulaski's got two losses. They lost to uh, De Pier and Bayport. Ann Mullenbach in the uh, Sheboygan South. Ann Mullenbach in the Sheboygan South High Choir. Great job by those kids. North comes in 14 and three, eight and three in conference. Chris, we just looked at the standings. Uh, they were reigning threes in that first game. They had 15 of them, and uh, they were led by uh, Ethan Gusky's 28 points. They, South is going to have to answer for the threes and Gusky. Yeah, I think the keys to the game for. Uh, North, they had a terrible fourth quarter the other day. They got to counter and do better here. Okay, let's go to Sim Safford for the announcement of the uh, starting lineups. Good shot of uh, Coach Tom Desatel, longtime coach, 35th year. These officials are uh, state guys. These are good guys here, Marty. Francis and uh, Murray jumping center. This will be a good matchup. North controls. Well, one of the keys of the game, I think, for South is force. Devin Yerk right. Gusky started off the last game with two quick threes. He didn't get one there. 
I think another key is controlling the glass for South. Too many second shots for North in that first game. Here they get one right away, an offensive rebound. Contra, a nice bounce pass to Yerke. He throws it up, can't get it in. And Murray comes away with the loose ball. Now the game you missed, Chris, Mitchell Fox had a real nice game uh, getting rebounds and putbacks underneath the basket. There, North is going to have to account for him. He'll surprise you. My key for South on offense is number 51, Michael Schrader, the senior. He's got to get 20-plus tonight for South to win. Let's see if he goes off. Schrader from outside the line, rimmed out, and Fox almost got the loose ball, but tipped it out of bounds. North will get it. For so North, their keys, I think they got to uh, hit their threes. Every once in a while, they go into these cold spells, so they got to shoot well. That's what they did on Tuesday, cold shooting, but uh, see what happens there. Ditter is uh, right on Gusky, not letting him get a breath of fresh air. Hammeister nails a three. Since he's entered a starting lineup, he's had, uh, I believe it is three double-digit games, Chris. Yeah, he's really he, picked up the scoring slot. Yeah, he's up to seven points per game, Marty. Good point. And uh, not being able to pick up the loose low pass was Murray. Should have had it. You can't see it right now, but down in the corner right below us, uh, Ditter is right on Gusky. There you see it. Gusky will take him to the hoop and then kick it out. Hammeister open again. And Schrader with the rebound. Ditter pushing hard. Taylor Ditter leading score, 14 points a game for South. But this is the guy I think that's going to be the key, number 51. Ditter pull up 12 footer, couldn't get it to go. And Francis taps it out of bounds. South 4 and 12, 3 and 8 in the league. Seventh in the league in scoring at 53 points per game. North is number one with 71 points, 71.8 per game. Fox couldn't get it. Gusky with the loose ball. Threw it out of bounds. Hammeister wasn't looking. Uh, Gusky should have taken a little bit longer before he threw the ball. Turnover on the Raiders. For games like this, Chris, you really got to get good officials because uh, the action is uh, very intense. Yeah, these guys have done Ooh, a lot of big that's games. over and back. Schrader still wondering what he did wrong. It's like the time I was umpiring, the catcher said, where's left field? <laughs> <laughs> You're in it, man. <laughs> Money from there. Yeah, good block. Schrader came over and Michael did and blocked it. Yep, good help there. That's great help on Yurk because he's like automatic there. There's good a defense. matchup. Yeah, huh. that is a good one. You're right there. Fox with a leap and leaner couldn't get it in. And Conter showing some strength grabbing the ball. South all for their first four. Gusky taking it hard to the basket, got ripped down. He'll be shooting two. Michael Schrader on the foul. Watch this. Wackle. He just would have kept his hand straight up instead of going to the side. It would have, would have made a difference. Coach Cerrone up here he used to coach at Arrowhead. Yeah. Andy Cerrone. And he coached at North, I believe. Yep, he was Way an back when. Way back. Way back when. Dusky pops in a pair. Five to nothing North. Ball tipped out. Andy Cerrone. His son plays at UWGB. Yep. Ooh, almost hung it out there, but the good ball handling by Ditter, and then he kicks it out of bounds. They're going to give it to North. Checking into the game for South is Carter Odmanson. Yeah, they Brought him up from the JV, JVs, guys. Odmanson, Knuth. Knuth comes in, too. Nice pass inside. Francis for two. 
Quick start by the Raiders. Francis has been uh, real tough this year. They're having a great year. Averaging over, tw uh, right at 12 a game. Just tons of rebounds and Schrader going high for the board. Putback is no good. Dusky looking inside, but uh, had his pass go out of bounds. Murray back in. Schrader, Michael Schrader is going to get a breather. I was going to mention before, Chris, when South sent in that slew of uh, substitutes, uh, Coach Schultz likes to make a lot of substitutions, get a lot of people in the game. Yeah, they. I wrote down a bunch of their players for stats because so many of their kids play. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea. Good hands. And I think they're going to get uh, somebody for a foul. It was hard to tell who they were pointing at. Falls on 31. Well, they're both 31. <laughs> Even Sim Safford didn't announce that it's going to go on Murray since North is getting it out of bounds. Seven Sec zip. Yeah. Wow. Second team foul on South. Yurk, don't let him go left. Have we said that before? Yep, one of the things, force Yurk right. Timeout coach Schultz, and it's gonna be a full one. Yeah, quick timeout, they're down nine to nothing, and uh, North has run the offense pretty good. Uh, you can see part of the game plan though is they don't want Gusky to go off for 28th again. Well, you better figure out something to stop everybody else too, because uh, Ethan may get zero, but you may still lose by 30. Um, we had mentioned too in the opening you know, about balance with the with the girls, both North and South. Well, that goes for North uh, and South for that matter. They've got a lot of guys that can score points. Yeah, South 0 for 6 from the floor, throwing three turnovers. So they've had nine chances to score and they have failed to do that in their first four minutes. They said South comes in four and 12, looking for that first quality win. Beat a team with a winning record. And uh, I remember a couple of seasons ago when uh, South was actually doing pretty good and talking to Coach Schultz and he, he made the comment, he said, just doesn't seem like when we get in these close games, we're winning them. You know, that's why yeah. our record isn't even better. Well, this year the team isn't quite as good and they're still not winning the close right. games. And if they get down here, then you question, will they have enough to come back? Campion hounding uh, Ditter. If you're not up for a north-south game, you <laughs> I don't know what, what more you need. Now that's the second time Reed Conter has provided good help on a drive attempt by Ditter, forcing him to uh, stop. Tristan Schmidt in the game for, uh, pardon me, Matt Schrader. Three-point attempt is no good, and I'll tell you, Francis skies high for the board. Danny Campion slipped over there, hope he's all right. Yeah. Carter Robinson, he's a great baseball player, guarding Yerk here. Kick out, Conter, good rotation on it, but he couldn't get it in. Coming away with the rebound was uh, Carter Robinson. Murray from 12, no good. Conter's third board already. Nice kick down, Campion open, bango. Second three by the Northsiders, 12 to nothing. Two of five from out there already. 12 nothing. I never saw this coming. Nope, not a bit. Schrader's shot no good again. North with the rebound. Yurk pulls up from three. He was feeling it. He was heading back down the court, but it didn't go in. Good rebound by uh, Jake Knuth. Whoop. Right into the hands of Reed Contra who kicks it down to uh, Shaq Francis and uh, <laughs> couldn't quite get a handle on it to save it. Third turnover on North. Alec Menning in the game along with uh, Brandon Sippel. And we've 
We've got a problem with Sipple. They don't like his black t-shirt. It's got to be blue. Yeah, I agree with these guys alongside of me. Mr. Scherschel wants him to put on a blue shirt. Those are South colors. Accent only. It's red and white, man. Since when do we go to black here at South High? Come on. That's a district color. <laughs> the blue. Simple out of the game. We get that taken care of. He can give it his old Ted Klazuski look. Campion, what a nice board. South can't make a thing. And North's going to not make another one. Yurk, another good look, but couldn't get it in. And we get a foul underneath. It's going to go on South. Foul goes on uh, Connor Harrison. Ooh, Southside doesn't like that call. Fox in the game. Matt Schrader checking out. Francis back in. Gusky with a catch and shoot, no good. Fox with a strong rebound. Foul underneath. Off the ball foul. You're gonna get it on uh, Shaq Francis. Uh, the when we get fouls like that, Chris, off the ball, that's called getting to know your neighbor. Now Sipple comes in. Maybe Coach had him wearing that T-shirt because he didn't want him to see the uh, tattoo. That is correct, sir. Travel. That's correct. You mentioned it, I didn't. <laughs> well, hey, nothing wrong with that. High school kid getting a tattoo, it's a little early for me. But it's another world we live in. Twelve zero. Min and a half left. Manning, almost a walk. Ethan's got to let the game come to him, not force things. Yeah, he's a little antsy, wanting to get it in the middle yeah. of the lane, and wants to shoot. <laughs> Yurk, no good. Sipple with a strong board and a putback, and North has two more. It's 14 to nothing, and a steal and a basket by Gusky. Check that, Manning with the layup. We both had our head down and missed it. We get a replay on that, and there you see Coach Schultz. He is beside himself. What is happening here tonight? And it's at South. Here you're going to see that last flurry of action. The miss, Watch Sipple. Sipple on the putback, quick ups to get it right back and steal. Manning, lay in. And timeout south, their second timeout of the quarter, Chris. Well, they gotta, they gotta clear the ship before the ship is sunk. Get their guys back together. There's a long time left in this game. Let's Still. go back to the Sipple thing. He's a smart guy. We'll get that Coach Dessel. We'll wear a black shirt. <laughs> that way I get to show off my tattoo. <laughs> coach will not let that happen again. 16 to nothing. 110 remaining in the quarter. And uh, no surprise that Yurk has a big smile on his face with uh, his team leading. Schrader, uh, good job of getting rid of the ball before he fell down and traveled. South 0 for 9. Looking for somebody, anybody. Here's a leader. The layup attempt is no good. A lot of ups by the boys. And Ditter getting a good shove on uh, Gusky. No call, and now they're having words. South will keep it. Well, in the strength department, you got to give it to Ditter over the North Guards for sure. 
And they're going to get Yerk with a foul. That would be what uh, some people might term a ticky tack. Yeah, it's a good one to clear the air a little bit, though. Yeah, good point, Chris. That's why you're the uh, color guy. Conter back in. Menning comes out. He had a good little stint there. And Hammeister is going to pick up the foul. Just the third the team foul, though, Marty, uh, on North. Yeah, right, yeah, that way. I'll tell you, players are going in and out on uh, North and South. <laughs> I can't keep track. <laughs> Neither can the board. Really? Contra had a look at it. Schrader from outside the line got it in. South's first points, a three-pointer by Michael Schrader. 16-3. Annie Campion running the show with uh, Devin Yerk out there. You're going to get one here too, Ditter. Dusky oh. threw it up there, couldn't get it, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. And this is not good for South. My key player of the game for South now has his second personal. Okay. That was a big one for his second one on Michael yep. Schrader. I know what you mean about Gusky getting a little antsy, you know, and not letting the game come to him. You know, you're up to 15 points a game on the season. You know, you've been the big big man for the last few games now. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, they're not letting me get shots. One for two trip for uh, Gusky. He's got three points. Quick whistle. Calls on number 15, Taylor Ditter. Gusky and Francis coming back in. And Harrison coming back in. Connor Harrison coming in. You're going to see it. Yep. Ooh, two hand shiver right to the back. Good call. Silly foul. Hey, he got his money's worth. Yeah, but we need him on the floor. 10 seconds. That's right, that was his second foul too. Conter couldn't get it in. And that's the quarter. North on top, 17 to three after one. We'll be right back. Don't you just love running water? It's like a little tiny waterfall with a tiny whirlpool. Like a whirlfall. Yeah, we just made up a new word. That happened. The moment using water becomes wasting water. Majesty. It gets weird. Get normal by visiting wastingwateriswierd.com. It takes more than perfect balance. More than a great pair of legs. More than a good sword. It takes more than just talent. More than the will to win. It takes you. It takes your donations to support the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. And now you can donate on Facebook. He's done it! The U.S. has done it! Support the U.S. Olympic team on Facebook and donate to make Olympic dreams come true. Getting ready to start second quarter action. Uh, North started the game with a 16 to nothing run before uh, Michael Schrader nailed a three. Yurk continues to guard Taylor Ditter. Taylor Ditter with only one foul, Chris. Yep. And uh, pass to the other side by Connor Harrison. Sails out of bounds. Another turnover for uh, the Red Wings. Number six. Just That's one of 11 shooting for Sal. Six of 16 for North. Kick out pass to Manning from outside the line and he nails a three. Now there's three of 10 from out there. Manning two for two in the game. Ball is tipped away. Francis over to Gusky. Dinner with a good hustle blocks the shot. 
and Gusky's gonna get called for a foul, and he's gonna get knocked to the floor. <laughs> he gets the double whammy. And for that doozy of a play, take a seat. Campion has Ditter. He'll need a little bit of help on the D, I would think. Harrison, just a freshman out there, number 41. He's been in the starting lineup all year. Francis playing the tight D. Out on top. Definitely the strength of North is their defense. We haven't even seen the 1-3-1 yet. Campion on Ditter, his shot is off. Fox on the putback, he did that a lot the other night when we were here. His first basket, first two pointer by South. They now have five, and a takeaway by Murray. Harrison being guarded by Yurk. Murray being guarded by Murray. Ditter, good move down the baseline, off the glass and in. And South has a run. Ditter missed his first five. You're not gonna keep him quiet all night. Spins back with the left hand, does Devin Yurk, and he scores. That was pretty. Devin, two of seven from the floor now. Kick out, Fox, Rainbow's got it down. Both teams starting to light it up now. And they're gonna get Yurk for a travel. I don't think that was a good call. They should have let them play on. He lost the ball. Well, now all of a sudden, 22-10 doesn't look so bad. You know, when you get to double figures and things like that. Right. Before, yeah. when it was 17-3, to three, that doesn't look so good. But <laughs> Yeah, it's only 14, but still. Yep. Harrison bringing it up under pressure. With confidence for the young man. Murray dribbles it right off his foot, but uh, South comes away with it. Matt Schrader. In the Dip. right spot at the right time, and then he throws a bad pass. Got to be better. Francis, going hard to the basket, gets fouled. He'll be shooting two. Hey, my grandma moved into Sheboygan, Marty. My yeah. grandma, Gare. Yeah, yeah. She's got charter cable, so she's Sweet. watching us tonight. And she can catch us on demand anytime yeah. she wants. Oh, she has an internet <laughs> the, connection. Uh, so my grandma Gare's watching us. Like I said, 89 years old watching the game. There's a big fan and a little fan. <laughs> Francis couldn't get that, but uh, Conter tips it out. And North has it back, and they've got a 13-point lead. 23 to 10. Gusky got fouled after the shot, but he put it up and in anyway. Oh, he missed his first three, but he made his fourth. I don't know if you noticed the uh, block out after the shot kind of caught him a little bit low. It's dangerous. Fox, another three heard from. No, no, Schrader that time. Schrader, I meant. Yep, Matt Schrader. Your counters. No. A glancing blow to the backboard. <laughs> and on the fast break, Saul throws it away. Schrader and Knuth coming back in. Pardon me, Amundsen. Turnovers mounting for South, and it's nine. And you know their turnovers tonight, Marty, aren't really like pressure turnovers. They're more silly turnovers, as opposed to like being trapped and throwing it away. They're Isn't more there a about- saying something like, rush but don't hurry, and they're correct. hurrying. They're, you're right, exactly. Conter spins back with the left hand, couldn't get it in. Nice move, and then he commits a foul. That part wasn't so good. Boy, Sheboygan North must just work on one-on-one -on -one moves every day in practice, forever. You know who, you know who does do that? I'm sure the I The Badgers. Oh. They got their guards down underneath working on, uh, I don't know, a series of uh, 
post moves. And uh, you're right about North, because they do it too. Eric Wirtz must like grind they do. them constantly on that. The assistant coach. Knuth. Tango. Big Jake. Got it down to 11. Hammeister hurt from again. Boy, every time that they get South gets a little closer, North gets a three. Gusky want one, and now Hammeister. Amundsen going to get a foul on uh, Hammeister. Michael Schrader on the floor with two fouls. That's the one I'm watching. Let's hope he gets out of here. Yeah, you don't want him to get another one. With three and a half, three fifty left. No more fouls for him. It's too important. Michael Schrader's got Danny Campion on him. He yeah. should be in the post. Spin around shot, no good. Instead. Francis on the bust out, taking it hard to the hoop, lays it up and in. No so stopping him. Yeah, you're not going to stop him. 31 to 15. Jake Knuth with another basket. Shaq really doesn't take a lot of threes, but Campion does. Ooh, had a double bouncer, couldn't get it in. And uh, Campion fighting for the rebound, but Knuth doing the job. Schrader open in the corner. Ditter overlays. He had Schrader down deep if he'd have kicked it off. Gusky open. Shot is no good. Francis grabbing the rim and trying to go up with it, but he lost it. I never jumped like that. Yeah, me either. See him grab the rim. <laughs> that could have been a T. <laughs> I never got a T for grabbing on the rim either. <laughs> they never grabbed it. <laughs> Didn't you get a T once for trying to touch the rim and couldn't? <laughs> <laughs> Thought I heard that. <laughs> Jake Knuth on a charge. Hopefully everybody's okay. Jake getting up a little slow, but uh, he's going to be all right. Jake, the hottest shooter on the squad there, him and Fox. Matt Schrader back in the game. Schrader, Knuth, Murray, Harrison, and Ditter for South. Shaq, Gusky, Campion, Yerk, and Conter for North. Conter has it on top. Campion going hard to the basket, puts it up and in. Danny Campion, a runner. Good speed. Showed good quickness, you're right, Chris. And almost a turnover. Murray picks up the loose ball. Bad pass again yep. by Knuth. And a takedown. Knuth is going to pick up his second foul. Campion will be at the line shooting a bonus. Champion uh, just scored a basket. He's got a chance to put in a couple more points. Mitchell Fox coming in. Champion has five points. Chris, uh, he's had a good go of it here in the first half. With a chance to put in some more. Good shot of Danny. You saw there he's a junior. There he is. I tell you, our graphics look just like uh, the the state network now when they do state games. Those guys know what they're doing. Kerry Kautzer and uh, Scott Mayloff. Murray with an easy one on a fast break. Richard Bartson up here by us. Eric Wiesman running the floor camera. These guys do a great job too. Shaq underlay. Had an opening but couldn't get it up and in. Nobody wanted to get in Ditter's way. 
big dude. South's got to try to get this under double figures. Conter, boom. But not the way North's hitting their threes tonight. You made a great comment before when you said every time they get a little close, South has an answer. Yeah, six threes made by uh, well, North had, now. Yeah, and he had 15 in that first game. Steal by Campion. This will be interesting. Oh, good job by uh, Danny, avoiding the pressure by uh, Schrader. And just like that, it's back to 18, Marty. Unbelievable. Oh. Under a minute. Kick over to Ditter, his rainbow is no good. And Gusky with the board and he kicks it down the floor. Campion is gonna get it, but he can't get it to a North player. Matt Schrader has it on the bust out. Mitchell Fox, no good. Gusky says, I'll take care of it, and he does. Wow, we, this is uh, getting bad. 20 point lead with 30 seconds left in the half. And what was it just a minute ago? What they scored the last seven? Yep, seven points. It was 35-22, uh, down by 13. South gonna hold for one, because we'd rather not be down by 22. Sounds like a plan. Matt Schrader going hard. Conter got there a little late. That's going to be a good call. His second foul, seventh foul on North. With six seconds left, we got wholesale changes again. Matt Schrader on the line to shoot two. These are going to be the first free throws by South in the half. Wow. North has shot eight and made six of them so far. North is shooting really well, Marty. Robbie Schrader, number 33 in the game. Alec Manning comes in for North. Oh, in and out. Five seconds left. Conter couldn't get it in. And we're at halftime with North up 19, 42 to 23. Some people might think that Adrian would never be able to go to college like his brother or achieve his dream of being an actor. We couldn't disagree more. We're the ARC, and we believe everyone should have the opportunity to realize their full potential. The ARC stands up for those in need, advocating for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I want to be a professional actor. So they can be anything they want to be. If you need help, or if you want to help, visit us at www.thearc.org.
have you heard? Scam artists are trying to trick seniors into giving them their Medicare numbers. I heard that. This happened to my friend. A man came to her door wanting to sign her up for the new Medicare program. Well, when she got her Medicare summary notice, it was full of charges for services she hadn't received. So I did something about it. I joined the Senior Medicare Patrol, where I teach others to protect their Medicare numbers, review statements to spot false charges, and report suspected we are this close. We are this close. Of our identity. We're making history. This close to changing the world. We are this close. We are this close. This close. This close kind of to change. making sure no child suffers a crippling disease. Ever again. This we close. are this close to ending polio. This close to ending polio. All we need is you. Is you. Is you. This close. Be a part of history at rotary.org. On Thursday, Sheboygan South's freshman teams both won over Sheboygan North. This afternoon in uh, boys' JV action, North won that one. And uh, unless, uh, unless South can uh, really pick it up here in the second half, it... Uh, Gary Fritch? Yeah, boy, I haven't seen Gary. He's a heck of a baseball player, good catcher. Yep. Didn't yell at the umpire much. That's what I liked about him best. <laughs> anyway, let's go through some... Uh, you mentioned North, yeah, North. Yeah, won, North, yeah. North JV's won this afternoon in the boys action and girls for that matter. First half scoring, first for uh, the home team. Matt Schrader off the bench had four. Mitchell Fox had five. Taylor Ditter only four points. Chris, uh, he had a tough goal of it. North playing good defense on him. Thomas Murray two. Jake Knuth five off the bench. And uh, Michael Schrader three. And you had mentioned early that uh, he needed to score points in order for uh, South to be successful. Uh, nine points off the bench for a South. North was led by Dan Campion off the bench. He had nine points. Ethan Gusky forcing some shots but came away with eight in the first half. Yurk had four. Francis five. Manning five off the bench. Conter three. Ham Eister hit a couple of threes for six. And uh, Sipple on a nice putback showing good ups. Quick ups actually scored two points. And uh, North had 16 points off the bench. Some stats. Well, I, I got North 15 of 32. They made six threes, Marty, but the unique thing about that is that Ethan Gusky only hit one, and uh, Devin Yurk hit zero, so they got contributions of three-pointers from other people, and they're still up like this. For Sheboygan South, uh, they're nine of 25, shooting four of 11 from three, and my danger spot for them, as you already kind of mentioned it, Ditter and Schrader are three of 13 shooting, and that, that's your guys, and you know, you're two big guys, you gotta score. I mean, they're 23 points to combine between them and uh, they did not shoot the ball very well. And uh, I'll tell you, when you, those threes are going in, like I said, South North was six of 17, but it, we both mentioned that whenever South kinda sorta got within 11 or 12, North would hit a three and that was that. What's kinda interesting in the uh three-point shooting analysis is North had four different players make three-point baskets, but so did South. Unfortunately for them, each of their uh, three-point makers only had one make. Yeah, they're uh, four of 11 from three South, that is, and I'll tell you what, uh, just that slow one for 11 shooting for South in the first quarter uh, really made a difference. I give a shout out once more to this uh, website that uh, WSCS has and you can get on demand broadcasts of different programs. Uh, the website is located at, uh, there you see it, wscssheboygan.com. And uh, if you go to the upper right, click on programming and then VOD player, that stands for video on demand, and then select the appropriate menu. You can uh, watch different uh, broadcasts that uh, WSCS has. Uh, in their archive. Of course, we always go there and watch ourselves. <laughs> but uh, think of it this way, fans. You got Mike and Chris on demand whenever you want them. If you can't sleep at night, find <laughs> that website. We'll put you to sleep. <laughs> and we get started with second half action. North has the ball. Campion starting the second half here, Chris. Interesting.
Ethan Gusky just two of six tonight. Inside feed, Francis with an easy two. And uh, North with a good start. He's three for four and ups that lead to 21. South just got to crawl. They got to crawl back in this one. Ball tipped away. No, they're saying Gusky did not hit it. It goes off of South and North will get it back. The 12 turnover on South. Way too many in the first half. And it, like I said, it wasn't on like, you know, traps and things. It was just passes like that. Yeah. That you would think by this time of the season, that's pretty much taken care of and cleaned up. North pressuring hard, getting it to the basket. Good defense that time by Michael Schrader to stop Francis from going to the hoop. Still stuck on two fouls, and that's good for South. Campion looking away, throws it up, no good. Did you notice that? He kind of looked away, and then he all of a sudden he stutter stepped and took it to the hoop. Oh, that was a bad one. Schrader picks up his third. Campion just averaging 4.9 points per game. He's doubled that already, and now he can add to it. He might be the game's first double-digit scorer. He is. His average is going up, Chris. You know, just when you account for one guy, all of a sudden, somebody else comes up and bites you. North is 8 of 10 on free throws tonight. It's 46-23. North has doubled up their uh, south side opponent. Inside feed, Knuth puts in two. Jake having a nice night off the bench. He has seven. Contra going hard, lays it high off the glass and got the pretty bounce and it went in for him. First two point basket of the game. It's two of six so far tonight. Now, Reed's a guy that, at least tonight, you know, when I watch him play, he's doing the little things that uh, really help North win. You know, playing some good defense, like right there coming yep. over to help or tipping the ball out. Just those little things that don't always show up in the box score but really make a difference. Well, now, now I understand Michael Schrader has three fouls, but at this point you might need to have one of your big guys out there. Otherwise, you know, when you're down by 30, you can't come back. Um, it's too late to bring him in. Murray working on Campion. Good move by Thomas Murray, taking it right to the rack. Murray averaging 7.6 points per game. That's just his second basket. He's two for two. Harrison, no match for Yurk. Devin Yurk puts it in. He just went left. Used him and abused him. Third fall on Knuth now to match Michael Schrader. Robbie Schrader coming into the game. Yurk looking for his uh, seventh point. It's been a slow night for him scoring wise. Watch how he creeps up there now. He's got, what, six now? Seven. Seven? You watch how he climbs up there a little bit. Hey, all you know, he hasn't made a three yet, and he's had some really good looks. All of a sudden, he bombs one of those, and he's yep. up to ten. Yep. Three of nine shooting, Devin. i tell you, I don't know if you could notice it on your screen, but Gusky was all over Ditter, not allowing him to uh, touch the ball on the inbounds. North success is their defense. They just are so quick. Contest every situation. Look at Shaq, just work them. Murray over to Harrison. His turnaround jumper in the lane is up and in. Connor Harrison. His first basket. Fall after the shot and the basket is good. Hamister. oh man. Joe 
Chance for a four point play, Marty. Really? Holy cow. Coach Schultz gonna kneel down and think about this as the deficit's now gonna be at 26. 20. Wow, who would have guessed this? I thought North was gonna win. I just think they have a better team and they're playing better, but I didn't uh, anticipate this kind of a blowout. Schrader goes down very hard. Francis is gonna get called for the fall. Hopefully that young man is okay. Francis coming over, showing some love, helping him up. Very classy. I got a question for you, Chris. If we're down by 20, do we pick him up? Just, I'm just thinking out loud. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you should, right? Yeah. But do you? Norris just stays on fire there. Four of four in the quarter. Now 19 for 36 shooting. And just, everything's working. Five for, excuse me, seven for 18 from threes for North. Matt Schrader puts in the second of two. 55 to 30. Sean Anderson uh, snuck in while you were talking there, Chris. Shaq's going to go right at him. Uh, into the backcourt. I believe this will be a turnover. I don't think South tipped it. They didn't. Seventh turnover on North. They played a pretty clean game. You'd have to say that. Seven, you know, in the, almost the middle of the third quarter. That's pretty good. Anderson. Found an opening and took it, couldn't get it. And Francis with a strong rebound. Pull that one down with authority. Hammeister, I've got it, coach. No problemo. Another three for him. He's got 13. Now there's a kid started the year. You know, he got his action, but uh, he didn't see a whole lot. You know, riding the pines and always getting an opportunity and making the most of it. Well, I said they have to hit their threes north if they're gonna win, and they can't have cold spells. They I think they're it. taking care of one of my things here, <laughs> where I look on the south side, some of the things I wanted them to do isn't all working. Amundsen has it in the backcourt, being guarded by Hammeister. Good help defense there by uh, Conter. The problem was Hammeister forgot to rotate over. Did you notice that? Yeah. Michael Schrader trying to get a long three. Of course, we could blame that on Reed and say he didn't call switch. <laughs> <laughs> Gusky from the parking lot rolls off. What a play Yerk. by Yerk. <laughs> oh, man. You're right, Chris. All of a sudden, he's going to be up there. He's got nine now. North, six of seven shooting in the quarter, Marty, and they're up by 30. They've doubled them. Matt Schrader, good body control, put it up and in. Second. Oh boy, that was pretty slick until he lost the ball. Shaq. Francis, a scoop -a -roo, put it up and in. Ditter has been uh, silent in this third quarter. He's been kind of like you on Friday. <laughs> you don't even get to touch the ball. Yeah, he's just two of nine shooting. Schrader on a nice baseline drive, put it up and in. Ditter hasn't even attempted a shot here in the third. Their leading score at 14. Husky, quick pass to Hammeister. Oh my. Pull me in, coach. Don't shake his hand when you get done with the interview, Chris. You might get blisters. Three for three from three, and five of six in the game. 16 point, we'll take Husky away. <laughs> and now look. <laughs> There's your favorite players back in the game. Tex? Yeah. You gotta tell the fans who Texas, they might not know. Well, he lived in Texas for a while and 
for a year and then came back here. And uh, Talking about Brandon Sippel, right? Yep. Oh, Murray with the good up, saved that pass. So I said he's Tex. Tristan Schmidt hasn't seen a lot of action tonight. His shot is no good. North on a bit of a bust out. Conter forced it, couldn't get it. Murray comes away with the board. There's two minutes left in this third quarter. It's North 65, South 34. And North is just sizzling, shooting. Conter on the good D. It can't be over. Oh, back. that was a bad call. They're no, going to no, have no, to change no. that one. The referee will come over and explain that to them. Yeah. And they're going to get together good. and say, where are we going after? I don't want to go to McDonald's. <laughs> Let's go somewhere else. And they say, well, wherever we're going, we're going south. Check it in for south. 33, Robbie Schrader. Nine threes for north in the ball game. Robbie Schrader checks in. Nine for 21 from three-point range. It'll be interesting to see if uh, Devin Yerk sits out the entire minute 55 left in the third. No, I'm serious, you know, because I'm sure he wants to give him a little bit of a break, but I don't know that he needs that much of a break. Right, you watch, he'll be in quickly. Oh, Matt Schrader got it on the sideline and uh, had to get rid of it, otherwise he falls out of bounds, and uh, unfortunately for him, he threw it away. Hammeister's feeling it. Carter Robinson is all over Ethan Gusky over there as the uh, <laughs> leading scorer. He was paying tried. attention this morning. At the walk well, it wasn't really a walkthrough. It was a full practice, I think. But uh, we're all over Gusky as the leading scorer in the ball game is now at the free throw line. He's just doing it from all over, Chris. Lorenzo Bacchus in for the first time, number five. There you see him on the free throw line. Ooh. Couldn't quite get that second one in. Not a very good release on that second free throw, I didn't think. Good rotation over, but uh, sliding down and making the pass was uh, number 33. It was Robbie Schrader. Robbie Schrader. Checking in for South, number 25, Ashawn Anderson. And number 21, Michael Jones. Michael Jones seeing his first action, number 21. Oh, ball was tipped. Schmidt, got it in. Well, Coach Desitel can't be too happy with this group and uh, the now way they're playing. Now with that turnover. No turnovers are good. Gusky, taking it hard to the basket. Couldn't get it in, but he did get fouled. He'll be shooting a pair. Here's when you like to score points and you get those free throws. You just, well, you got to make these, you know, and get the points. And when you feel like that, then you make your free throws, see. Well, he's got nine points, but he's only two of seven from the floor, so he is getting it done at the free throw line. Just one of six. A, yeah, I think he's I was one of six from three, Marty, and the rest of the team is lighting it up. Hammers home a couple there. Under a minute left in the third. Backhouse, good pass to Schmidt. And he travels, but no call. Oh, nice look off Hammeister. Shot is no good. Too, too and close. knocked out of bounds by Sean Anderson. But uh, Gusky was waving his hands down on the left side. And... Uh, 
Campion looked that way, but then he fired over to his teammate uh, Hamleister on the other side. Kevin Lang in the game for the first time for the Raiders. He's a free throw maker. Runs cross country. Lang. We'll see if he's a free throw maker, Chris. is going to be the ninth and 10th free throw of the quarter. Wang, oh, it was on the rim and rolled off Chris. I jinxed him. I was just going to say that. Ryan Brunmeyer, number 41 in the ball game. Lang, more importantly, trying to get a free throw. Nice free throw there. You can only jinx him once. Back house. A good hand by Brunmeyer, but uh, couldn't save it. I 21. was going to tell you that uh, tonight the uh, Yerk and Gusky are one of nine from three. The rest of the team is eight for 12. Oops. <laughs> How about that? That's contributions from others. Yeah, really Manning on the nice attempt, but couldn't save it. 13 seconds left. 69-38. It's been all north tonight. Whoa, Schmidt right down the lane. Had the wide open layup attempt, but couldn't get it in, and we're at the end of three quarters of play. Sheboygan North, 69. South, 38. Look a howler monkey in the eye. Fried ants are delicious. We finished a clinic in our, in our rainstorm. Really? My students actually ended up teaching me. In La Keg, a la Keen. Think managing a sales team is tough. <laughs> Try working with five different villages. After two months, I was ready to quit, but after two years, I didn't want to leave. I didn't know I had it in me. Turn two years of service into a lifetime of experience. To all the Peace Corps volunteers, past, present, and future, thank you for your service to your country and... Hi, I'm Owen Yeoman for PETA. I used to eat a lot of meat. Like a lot of people, I never really gave it much thought. But then I saw how violently animals raised for food are treated, and I didn't want to support that. The fact that the meat on my plate was once a living, breathing creature became something I could no longer ignore or justify as food. So I stopped eating meat, just like that, and my body and my conscience feel healthier for it. I'm Owen Yeoman, and I'm a vegetarian. Our next basketball game is going to be Thursday, February 9th, when Manitowoc comes to Sheboygan North to play... Uh, Fox River Classic basketball game. We look forward to bringing you that game. But before we do that, we've got to finish out the fourth quarter of this game. Taylor Ditter back in. He's had a tough night. No shots in the third quarter for Taylor. He's going to get one here. Well, maybe not. Starters all back in for South. Oh, good block by Brunmeyer, but uh, Connor Harrison got it back and he got fouled. Only the third team foul on North. South has six. Murray down the lane. We're gonna get a charge. We're gonna talk it over. Say, what do you have? I don't think I got what you got, but we'll call what you want. And they're gonna call it on Brunmeyer. North remains red hot, 23 of 43 from the field. South 16 of 30, excuse me, 16 for uh, 40 make it. That's still pretty good. The difference is the uh, threes, Marty. Nine threes for uh, North, just four for South, and the free throw differential. Yeah, their North is 14 for 18. South has not shot many free throws. Murray hammers home a couple, gives him six points on the night. It's 69 to 40. Good pass over to Camp, and he's wide open from three-point land, but couldn't get it in. 
And a nice kick down pass. Murray's got it. Four quick points for Thomas. He's three for three from the floor. Manning. I've got it. Oh, good Chetty, try. Chetty tries to get it in there. Kick out to Francis, and he takes it to the hole, lays it up and in. That was an easy two. Five of six shooting for Shaq. He's in double figures. Now there's a guy that lets the game come to him. Lang picks up the foul, and Harrison comes out as Sean Anderson comes in. Ditter finally got an open look, and he nails a three. He's been waiting for that one. Yep. 71-45, Francis with the other hand. Whoa. <laughs> on a yo-yo, <laughs> on a string net ball. No basket, fall underneath. Lang picks up his second quick fall and we'll see you later, Kevin. Hammeister in with his 17 points. Francis now with 13, Campion has 11. And, uh, oh, no, no love. Murray got no love on that shot. It was down and popped back out. Right string, wrong yo-yo. Yep. Blocked, good hustle by Ditter. And then Brunmeyer picks up a silly fall, a whack across the back of the head to Murray. Watch this. Wacko. <laughs> With, the <laughs> with authority. <laughs> Seventh foul on uh, North. Murray will shoot the one and one. I know we keep saying it over and over, but Ethan Guskey just two of seven today, and Yerk four of 10, and their team is up by 28. Now he's not in the game, but he also is in double figures with 10. So it's four guys from north and double figures, and Yerk is right on the cusp of getting 10. If they ever let him off the bench. Oh, Campion. Good play, Francis. And they're going to get a Sean Anderson with a foul. That was a, eh, a cheapy. Let's call it what it is. Just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Jones back in. That's what we almost forgot about. The straight knee, shoot the free throw. Straight knee. And he couldn't get it in. Campion trying to play the tight D. Schrader from way outside the line, hit nothing. Anderson, turnaround putback is good. Ditter with seven, Schrader with five. Michael Schrader, that is. North did a job on them. Hammeister with a good move, leaning Anna, in, throws walk. it up, no good. Francis off the glass, no good, and Fox with the rebound. Did her right down Main Street, had a shot blocked. I think it was Brunmeyer might have got a piece of that, Chris. Good help defense there by uh, Ditter. Almost got the turnover. And Campion with a little dish off to Manning, but he wasn't ready for it, and it goes out of bounds. 
Lang back in. Brunmeyer had a good stint there. He's huffing and puffing, Chris. He got uh, pretty much action the last few minutes. Puts it over to Mitchell Fox. He had a good look. Couldn't get it to go, though. Lang over the top of the head, couldn't get it in, but uh, Hammeister comes away with the rebound. Looked like he might have got whacked in the face, but he's okay. Hammeister from outside the line, he couldn't get it. Sean Anderson gets the rebound. Schrader lays it up and in. Nice pass from Taylor Ditter. Good job of running the break by the Southsiders. Meister, I think, will be shooting some free throws. Call goes on Taylor Ditter. South's going to fall to 4 and 13, 3 and 9 in the league. North will improve to 9 and 3 in the league. Oh, whole, a brand new 5 coming in for South. Big game for uh, North will be on the 17th when they have to travel up to Pulaski, but the rest of the games for North are uh, very winnable. Yeah, you're right there. Uh, they, they're done with the pier, mm. done with Bayport. Do a Manitowoc, but Manitowoc's in fifth in the league, but just not the quality of the first four teams this year. To Pierre, Bayport, Pulaski, and North. And I might have said that Tamister was on the line. It's Kevin Lang, and he pops in a couple. He has three points in the ball game, and North has 76. They're up 76-49. It's been an easy night for the Southsiders. They've had it the whole way. Knuth with another two. Big Jake with a nine. He's four for four from the floor. Rolling down to the three minute mark in the fourth quarter. Every North player has scored, Marty. Oh, that's pretty nifty. Oh, Sippo on a nice give and go. Campion with the great assist. I think, except maybe, did Brumeyer score? I think he's the only one that maybe, I'm not sure if he did or not. Did he get some free throws? Uh, I don't think so, Chris. So he's all that's left, I think, to score. Going down, I don't see his number on my sheet, no. Okay. So Ryan Brunmeyer is the only North player that hasn't scored. Jake Knuth back on the line. Opportunity to score some points. He's got nine. Great opportunity to get up into double figures. And uh, he's looking good tonight. There's Jake. when you build them up, Chris. Happens yeah. every time. Oh, not a good pass there, Kevin. Backhouse. Oh, he wanted that. And then Tristan Schmidt commits a foul. Tex will be going to the line. Ryan back in the game. Somebody must have said something to coach. Hey coach, Chris and Mike said he's the only guy that hasn't scored. We gotta get him back in there. Oh, it says he's got three. That's three fouls, man. <laughs> oh yeah, three fouls, sorry. Oh yeah, oops, sorry. Hey, that's all right. It's nice to see someone else make a mistake. <laughs> oh boy. Back calls with a nice drive to the hoop, but again, the hoop not showing any love to some of those Southsiders. Backus commits a foul. Right, 
Lang back at the line. He'll be shooting two now, Chris. 10th foul on South. Foul 20 of 51 shooting. North is really cooled off here. It's rolls in. 25 of 54 for North. Just a two for 11 in the quarter. Yeah, it's what happens when you get the other guys in there. Oh, Sipple. You're not gonna go very far running into Tex. And he's gonna make sure that he registers a foul. Tristan Schmidt will be at the line shooting a couple. And a good shot of Tristan. Sophomore. Hope to see more of him in the next couple of years. South has got a good mix. They've got quite a few seniors on this year's squad, but they do also have some juniors and a freshman and a sophomore in there. A couple of sophomores with Carter Robinson and yeah. Schmidt. Schmidt now with four points. Here's Ryan's chance. Hey, he's got it, and everyone from North has now scored. 81-54. Schmidt. Ugh. Manning got away with a walk. 130 left. Ooh. Ooh. Let him play. And three, and three, and three. Finally, <laughs> after six. <laughs> Get it out of there, four. Like, get it out of there, five. <laughs> oh, now we got to call it. Yep. That's okay, though. Let him play. Yep. I was thinking the same thing. He's well, been I in there a while. I was thinking, why call a foul? There's no blood. No, I meant the three, oh, three that seconds. That too. That too. Well, he was. Schmidt from outside the line. Oh, rolls it in. That was pretty. That looked nice. 82-61 last time, Marty. We're at 81-57. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty the close. Same. Kevin Lang looking, looking. Feeds it inside to Sipple. His shot is blocked by Amundsen. Carter hasn't he got He hit it. that one like he likes to hit a baseball. And the basket is up and good by uh, Robbie Schrader. Lang for three. Lang, Kevin Lang. Wow. It's all north. Chris is going to check out at the 25 second mark. Hope to get some interviews for us following the game. It's 84 59. Backhouse's shot is no good. Sipple with the rebound. Manning bringing it up under 10 seconds now. He's just going to dribble it out. And North a winner. They had it all the way. Come away with a big 25 point win, 84 to 59. I have my own problems to worry about. Those people in Africa don't want to help themselves. What's the point? Where's the proof? Actually, smart programs are saving lives. In just 10 years, over 15 million more kids are alive. All for less than 1% of the total U.S. budget. How's that for proof? And today there are new vaccines that could save millions of more kids. Go to one.org and join the movement. We're not asking for your money. We're asking for your voice. Hello? Hello? I've been on the street for a while. I've been on the street for a while. I saw your post on our side. I saw your post on our side. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. National Runaway Switchboard, how can I help? Call 1 800 Runaway to make the connection. Best sex I've ever had. 
The details are kind of fuzzy, but I know it started off in the kitchen because there were definitely mashed potatoes involved. Her leg was like here, and her head was like here. I still don't know how a human body could do that. I think she used to be in a circus or something. But the most important part about the best sex I've ever had was that it was consensual and it was protected. Very crazy three days, though. <laughs> One of the healthiest and most popular activities a family can do together is hiking. Speaking of health, this year the U.S. Departments of Agriculture and Health and Human Services issued an advisory urging all Americans to eat seafood twice a week for heart health. Environmentally speaking, it's best to choose seafood that's low on the food chain, like brizzling sardines, mackerel, or rockfish. To keep the environment beautiful, observe outdoor ethics, leave no trace, and help keep America beautiful. Danny, two uh, happy Raiders here. I'll tell you what, defense was, was the key probably for you guys. I anticipated maybe traps and presses and things like that, but it's really taken away their key players, Taylor Dinger and Michael Schrader, and I thought as a team you guys did a great job. Yeah, we played good defense in the first quarter. We only gave up three points, and we just kind of kept it going from there and came up with a win. Was it the idea is to, uh, like, just be all over Ditter so he never gets the ball? Yeah, pretty much. He's a great scorer. He can shoot from anywhere. And you got to stop his drives, too. So it just, you got to play good D on him. Yeah. I mean, they must have shot. I think they were one for 11 in the first quarter. So, I mean, it was a defense that really set the tone for the whole game. Yeah, the first quarter set the tone, and we never looked back after our lead. Yeah, and a lot of those turnovers turned into easy baskets for you guys, too, which is always nice. Yeah. The easier the baskets, the easier the win. Really worked out well. So what do you think of these North-South games? Pretty fun? They're great. Great atmosphere, great crowd. Love playing in front of a big crowd, so this is perfect. Yeah, a little different than the regular days of practice during the week, or it's just a little another game? Uh, it's definitely different. I'd be lying if I would say it's the same. And it's just a great feeling to come out and play in front of a bunch of people. Well, congratulations, Danny. You can stay here. Joel, I think Ethan hit one three tonight, and I think Devin didn't hit any, but the rest of you guys all hit threes. That's got to be nice. And what a team win. It was a very nice team win. I mean, that's fun getting those wide open shots, something you kind of dream about, huh? All the time. Yeah. You know you're the leading scorer tonight? Yes, I did. <laughs> that's a great thing in a North South game. You know, 20 years from now, that'd be something you'd be pretty proud of. But. Tough week this week, tough loss on Tuesday night. How was it getting back to practice on Wednesday? We just had to forget about it and move on. It was in the rear view mirror. Rear view mirror. Good idea because, you know, it looked like you guys came out with fire right away and, you know, had a bad shooting quarter in that fourth quarter the other day. But that first quarter tonight, you guys were just hitting them. And, I mean, everybody was hitting them. As a matter of fact, everybody scored for you guys tonight. That was the first for the season. It was pretty cool. Now, I see, you know, you have like 10 guys, but it looks like everybody's contributing. Like I said, everybody scored. It really is a team effort. All the time, that's what we work on in practice. Big win for your seniors and stuff. Send them out with a North-South victory. Yes, hopefully we'll get to play them again later on. That's it. So what are your experiences with this North-South? What do you think of all this crowd and things? It's definitely my favorite games to play in. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, congratulations to both you guys, and actually we'll see you Thursday against Manitowoc. We'll sit with that, we're gonna send it up to Marty. Sheboygan North, the winner, 84 to 59. North now has a record of 15 and three, nine and three in conference. Sheboygan South drops to four and 13 and three and nine in conference. For a South, Matt Schrader at six points, Mitchell Fox five, Taylor Ditter seven, Tristan Schmidt seven off the bench, had a nice night, especially in the third and fourth quarter. Sean Anderson had two, Thomas Murray eight, Robbie Schrader four, Jake Knuth off the bench had 10 points, played a very nice game, and Michael Schrader, 
Big number 51 had seven points. For the Raiders, everybody scored. Ethan Gusky with 10. Dan Campion with 11 off the bench. Devin Yurick, nine. Shaq Francis had a great game, had 14 points. Alec Menning, five. Reed Conter, five. Did a lot of things uh, outside of scoring to help the team win tonight. Kevin Lang off the bench with six. Joe Hammeister, you saw him in the interview at the end, had 16 points along with his buddy Danny Campion. Ryan Brunmeyer had two late in the fourth quarter, and Sippel ended up with uh, four. Again, Sheboygan North the winner, 84 to 59. In girls action earlier tonight, the North girls won handily, 58 to 39. Our next basketball game is gonna be Thursday, February 9th, when Manitowoc comes to uh, Sheboygan North. We look forward to covering that game. And for the crew, Eric Wiesman on the floor camera, Richard Bartson on the uh, up camera, Scott Mailoff and Kerry Kautzer doing our directing and running the graphics for my partner, Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the road.